Hello, Dr. Minkoff. Morning, Michelle. I wonder if today we might talk about late-stage Lyme disease treatment. Okay. Can you tell us what is late-stage Lyme disease and what are the symptoms? Okay. Typically, Lyme disease occurs with an insect bite, usually a tick, where it bites you and sometimes people get a typical diagnostic rash, a fever, they don't feel well, they go to the doctor, they could be diagnosed at that point with acute Lyme disease, they could be treated uh, with antibiotics and they could get better. Probably over 60 or 70 percent of the time that doesn't happen. The person gets a bite, they don't know it, the tick falls off or the mosquito or whatever else bit them. I don't think it's just limited to ticks. It's just my opinion because so many people never know that they got ticks uh, or they got a tick bite. Anyway, they get a tick bite, they don't have an acute illness or it's not diagnosed or they just think they have the flu and it goes away. And then some time later, it could be three months or six months or nine months or a couple of years, they start to get symptoms of fatigue, malaise, brain fog, or things like tremors, me memory loss, um, irritability, can't sleep, feeling bad, very nonspecific, which seem to progress. They may have arthritis or arthralgias, swelling of joints, uh, pain in muscles, and a lot of these people will get diagnosed with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome. If they get to a rheumatologist, he may do testing for autoimmune disease. Many of these patients have positive ANAs, which they would call it lupus, or, rheum or rheumatoid factor, it'd be called rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, or if they have a lot of neurological symptoms uh, with tremors or memory loss or paralysis, or weakness, they might be called Parkinson's or MS. Uh, I have a patient that, that just came in uh, uh, about a month ago um, with, a, with what was called scleroderma, where all of the tissues are sort of get so stiff that the patient can hardly move, and we found that, that she had Lyme disease too. So these often later don't look like anything like Lyme or like a, an acute infection. And so I always look for Lyme disease in these kind of patients because many times that's what's underlying it and it's something that's actually treatable. So describe how the treatment of late stage Lyme disease would differ from early stage Lyme disease. Okay, well early stage Lyme disease, it might be three weeks of an antibiotic like doxycycline. It might be curative, would be a good treatment. Sometimes people would put that with amoxicillin or something like that, but but there's protocols for that and that's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Uh, in late stage Lyme disease, often you have a patient who's got a, now a chronic illness. And with that chronic illness usually comes other things. They have nutritional deficiencies. They have low magnesium, low vitamin D, low selenium, low serum proteins. They may have things in their intestine where they don't have enough, they've been on antibiotics or they haven't been eating well. Uh, where they have bad bacteria in their gut or they have parasites, you know, where they have lots of other things going on, where now it's not a normal host, so to speak. It's a host that's having nutritional deficiencies and other kinds of organisms, and now they've got Lyme disease or one of the co-infections that go with Lyme disease. And so now you have a host that's very compromised. So our approach to this is we have to sort of look at all these things in the host and build up those things. If they're missing things, we have to put them back in. So if they need magnesium or vitamin D or selenium or these sorts of things, we have to put these back in. And then we wanna make sure that they don't have other chronic problems. Do they have chronic sinus problems, chronic fungal exposures? Uh, do they have bad teeth, gum disease? That these things get fixed as well so that their immune system can sort of come up and not have so many things to fight at the same time. And then with Lyme disease, once we make the diagnosis, is that what we are doing is, is trying to get this organism uh, killed using things that aren't usually traditional antibiotics. Uh, part of the therapies we use is ozone uh, and some other sort of natural antibiotics. Some of these are herbals and botanicals that are very good, have a very low side effect profile, 
uh, don't cause other problems and uh, when we figure out the right blend then people start to get better. Now so if you find yourself in this circumstance or you know people who are uh, and this is in epidemic proportions now um, we're really good at this so if you go to lifeworkswellnesscenter.com uh, look at the website look up Lyme disease read some of the testimonials you'll see that a lot of people that we see have been to many other places they've tried traditional therapies and they haven't gotten better and that when they come to LifeWorks we actually figure out what's wrong with them so that they can actually get better and then go on with their lives thank you